Step 1. Have a continuous tether line from your power source to your mine. 2. Deploy a medium or large platform. 3. Connect the platform to an extender. 4. Connect the extender to your rover. 5. Place small batteries on the platform. 6. When the batteries are depleted, return them to your backpack, where they will recharge from the tether. Repeat until the rover is fully charged. Now that I have explained the technique, you no longer need to watch the rest of the video, unless you want a little more technical detail, including warnings about some mistakes to avoid. Normally, you charge your rover by attaching it to a large or medium platform, and power flows from your generators into the rover to charge its battery. I brought a platform into the caves and attached the rover, but the platform, despite being attached to the tether network, was not attached to the base power grid. Now, you could craft a small generator and bring a supply of organics into the caves and use them to generate power on the platform. You could also craft a medium generator and use the coal you find in the caves to power the platform. Although I'm not sure how much coal you would consume driving your rover around to mine more coal. Also, organics and coal are non-renewable. Wind and solar are where it's at, yo. But those generators do not work underground, so we have to use batteries. Medium batteries are hard to transport and can only be charged when mounted on a platform connected to a power grid. Small batteries can be carried in the backpack and recharge when the player is attached to a powered tether. One important thing to remember is that a battery on a platform will not charge a rover unless there is an extender in between. Extenders restrict power flow to a single direction. The object from which you extend the power line is the source, and the object it plugs into is the destination. There's a V-shape on the power tape that shows you the polarity, and if you do it wrong, make the extend of the source of both tapes or the destination of both tapes, no power will flow. So mount the batteries on the platform, plug the platform into the extender, and plug the extender into the rover. When the batteries are drained, transfer them to your backpack and stand near the main tether. If you are tethered to the rover, your backpack batteries will charge from the rover, which is the opposite of what we want. Now, that looks like a bug. The battery on the platform is charging one battery in our backpack and the rover at the same time. That is probably a violation of the conservation of energy. So uh, don't tether to the platform. It is much faster to have your Astro Dude on the main tether, which charges all the backpack batteries in parallel rather than serially. Drained batteries go in your backpack to recharge, and full batteries go on the platform to juice up your rover. It requires a bit of clicking, but what else are you gonna do? Drag a medium battery up to the surface and back? 